Do you need a group of events to either all complete or none of them? In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through wrapping a series of mule components in a transaction. This way you can roll back in the case of an error and maintain your data integrity. The example we're setting up today is to pretend that we're in charge of creating an orders API. Clients would be calling our system using a JSON payload that consists of name, email, product, and quantity. And we're in charge of taking this payload and propagating it into our backend order systems. Inside AnyPoint Studio version 6.3, we'll be using the Mule Server Runtime 3.8.5 Enterprise Edition. We've already created our hypothetical order flow. It consists of our HTTP endpoint, listening on the path slash orders, converting our input stream into a hash map for easier access, storing our payload into a variable called orders. This is done to prevent our input order payload from being lost across our database connectors. A logger that prints out order received. And our first database connector, which will insert our name and email elements into a database table named customers. I've set up a local MySQL database that you'll be writing to. A logger with the message customer created. A second database table. This one is named orders and we write to it our product and quantity from the input payload. And a final logger which prints out that our order has been created. The high level requirements from our flow is we take orders through the HTTP endpoint, we create a customer in the customer database table, and we record the orders inside our orders database table. This flow would be fine as it is if we could guarantee that there would never be any errors. However, as you know, that is not the case and never will be the case. So we have a requirement that every customer must have an order. This means after we write to the customer's database table, we need to guarantee that we write to the order's database table as well. If any errors occur after writing successfully to the customer's database table, and successfully writing to the orders database table, we'll need to remove or roll back the entry we just wrote into the customer's database table. We'll be doing this by creating a transaction scope. So let's go to our mule palette. Search for transaction. And let's drag and drop all the components that we want to be in our transaction. Oh, we got rearranged. Inside our transactional properties, we'll put the setting as simple transaction, and we'll say that every time we reach this boundary, we always want to start a new transaction. And now we need to set each database connector to join our transaction. We choose always join instead of the default join if possible so that an error will be thrown if for some reason the transaction doesn't exist. And now let's simulate an error happening. Okay, let's put a breakpoint to show what's happening. Let's save and run in debug mode. Let's put our order through. We're in our logger.
we see our order received log. Our Groovy script has thrown the exception. There's our custom exception where we printed out system error occurred. And you can see that our second logger customer created, which is this one, successfully ran. So without the transaction, you would assume that a customer's database table has been successfully written to. But our orders database table would be blank. And in our database, our customers table is blank. And our orders table is blank. So our customers table did not get written to. So even though we successfully passed this customer's database component and got to the logger, the database record got rolled back. And for completion's sake, let's take away our error to simulate an order where there was no errors. Save. Wait for it to redeploy. Now let's send our order through again. Step through our first logger step through the transaction, and we made it to the final logger. No errors in the console, our three loggers. And in the database, our customers table has our record. And our orders table has our record. And we still have our data integrity. So wrapping both our database connector writes into a transactional scope, it guaranteed us that either both tables would be written to or none at all. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button. This video is much shorter and less in depth than my previous videos. Please let me know in a comment below which format you prefer. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Peace.